Good afternoon everyone, my name is Brian Garrity. I'm an applications consultant with Socius. Today I'm going to show you how to put a product mix on your dashboard, so I hope you find it useful. As always, if you need to reach me, here's my contact information. I'll be happy to show this again at the end so that you can make sure that you get it then. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Hey, have you ever run across an example of Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011 where you'd like to take a look at the different parts or products that make up the opportunities or the orders that you've got open? What you're after is a product mix across open quotes, orders, or opportunities. And this can be tough information to mine for because oftentimes the information that you're after is in the product table, not in the opportunity or the order table. You can see the information that you want on a per order basis, but not on a macro level, and that can be frustrating. I ran across this exact scenario with demonstrating to a client just the other day, and I came across a solution which might not be obvious for people who are a bit newer to CRM. What's more, I made the whole thing available in a chart, which I then put on their dashboard, as you can see here, for quick and easy reference. <clears throat> so the entity which bridges the gap between opportunities and products is the opportunity product. But this isn't directly accessible from anywhere but inside your opportunity or through customizations in the back end. Well, that's not entirely true. It is available one other place, Advanced Find. Now, the problem with using Advanced Find is that it creates a personal view which is fine if you're the only one that wants to look at the data, but it poses its own problems when you try and chart it. So what I did was to go into the back end, into the customization section, and look at the opportunity products section. So that's what I'm showing you here. <clears throat> if you take a look at the views that are associated with the opportunity products, you'll notice immediately that you don't have the ability to, to create a brand new view. And that was a problem. Um, so the way I got around that was to select an existing view, in this case, all opportunity products. I modified it to suit my needs, and then I did a save as. Essentially, I've located all the line items that are associated with open opportunities in this case. Again, you might look at quotes or orders. Um, and then I've, uh, in that view, I've added a few columns that we'll use in a minute, including topic, estimated revenue. And for my client, I included master product category, uh, a product unifier in the product table. But you might just add product if that's something that you're after. With this done, all you have to do is publish the entity, and you can do this by publishing the form, uh, not necessarily all the customizations. Um, then open up the chart section of the opportunity and the product entity and select your uh, new view. And you can see I've already created my chart here, so I'll pop that open and we can take a look at it. <clears throat> uh, essentially, all I've done is select my view, select the stacked column uh, bar chart, because oftentimes when you're representing this much data, you want to be able to add a couple of uh, unifiers. So across the, the uh, vertical axis, you can see I've put a sum of the extended amount. Um, and then across the horizontal axis, I've added the quote ID, which is my unifier from the opportunity at this point, something that exists on every line item that comes really from that header level. So it allows you to sort of sandwich all of those line items together under one banner. Uh, and then I further broke that down in the stack with the master category. And so once you stay, save that and close that, um, you know, everything is basically done at system level at this point. You might have to publish, but um, once you've done that, then it's just a simple matter of taking that information and adding it right to the, um, the client's dashboard. So that takes us right back to this field that we were looking at, or this, um, this chart we were looking at right in the beginning. So now you know exactly how I built this chart and what data it's representing. Again, with uh, all charts, you can always blow them up and uh, take a much uh, bigger look at, or a much closer look at all of your data. You'll notice that my unifier is kind of ugly. That's just a, a consequence of, of the data that we had at hand. But I think it's easy to see how this trick could be bent and used in a lot of other different scenarios and circumstances. But I'd love to hear about that in the comments below. So please let me know if you have other ideas. If you run into problems doing this, uh, I'd love to hear from you. Feel free to email me. Here's all of my uh, contact information. Please feel free to look me up, check me out, and contact me. Uh, also, feel free to leave any comments that you might have down below. We'll be happy to respond to those. Thanks so much, and have a great day.